All right, well, welcome to episode two of the Walk On Pod. Uh, before we get started, I just want to kick it to our special guest, our first guest on the pod. So we got Marquise Chris here with us today. Keith, how are we doing today, hey. man? Good, bro. How you guys doing? Good. Thanks for coming on, yeah. man. We appreciate you. Appreciate you guys having me. This is pretty dope. Um, you know, obviously, we all know each other pretty well, so I think it's cool to have a platform like this just to talk. So looking forward to it. Definitely. No, we definitely appreciate you coming on, too. And I, I mean, like you said, we all know each other pretty well, but I think it'll be pretty cool to just kind of talk on this yes. platform. But big time. Yeah, big time. Big time. How about, how about you, Tom? How, how's uh, Panama treating you over there? I know Tommy's checking in from a different location yeah. today. We're, we're checking in from Central America today. International it's James. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's big time. My name is not James. Um, yeah, it's good. It's just superhuman. Other than that, can't complain. We're vibing tomorrow on a catamaran all day long wow that's yeah. elite that, no, that uh it. pocatello money's going up you know the roof. yeah it's, it's all your it's all your advertising on the instagram tom they got they got all the fundraising going through the roof yeah. now that's all it is <laughs> <laughs> no nah, but i mean uh after last week you know we're gonna kind of be a little more organic conversation this week uh I feel like now we get to we know who me tommy and jared are and how we know each other but you know having someone else in here that's been on a similar journey with Jared and been through a, a bunch of different things and obviously has played at the highest level. You know, it, it's going to be pretty cool to just sit down and talk with each other. Um, I feel like, Jared, you want to kind of give a little intro. Keith, you, you two can kind of talk about how you guys know each other and then we can go from there. I know we all kind of have a couple questions we're going to go off of, but I feel like that's the best place to start. Yeah, for sure. So uh, for you people watching that don't know, uh, Marquise Chris, group Sacramento, um, I've been training Keith since he was about 15, 16 years old. Um, really great kid and just really put his nose down and worked hard and did everything he needed to do. And, you know, all the physical abilities were always there. And then just deciding that he was going to be, you know, the player he is today by just putting in the hard work. Um, went to UW for one year and then, you know, kind of took off second half of the season and ended up being able to get out of there in one year and go top 10 and, We've been grinding through all this, all this basketball stuff ever since. And uh, again, I appreciate him. And and uh, yeah, I mean, anybody that's watched any kind of NBA basketball, I'm sure knows. And if not, they can they can check the uh, the dunk resume. <laughs> so, but uh, Keith, I'll let you kind of if you got anything to add to that. I didn't want to like take a bunch of time. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, first time meeting Jared was funny. That was like I never had worked out with no basketball trainer, so I'm going up to the gym not knowing what to expect and I see like this kind of square dude standing on the other side of the court <laughs> and I, I walk in looking like a cornball with the whole neon team superstar fit so it was just it was bad from the jump so <laughs> but no nah, I mean I think Jared is is one to commend for where I'm at just kind of overall because I think he could tell you when I couldn't make four jump shots in a row like we spent 30, 40 minutes in one spot. And then it got to the point where I was just pissed off and we kind of just moved on. But no, it's been a long journey. You know, it's still going. Um, you know, I'm thankful to have him there and have him as a, a part of it, you know. And I think we still have a lot to learn about each other and, you know, where we're going and how far we can elevate each other. Definitely. I like the way you put that. And I feel like that's kind of all how we all feel about our relationship with Jared and each other. You know, we always have been working with each other. So it's just kind of, using what we got to keep going. Sure. Uh, Tommy, Tommy, uh, let's go ahead and start with you. I know, I know you, you know, you're a big guy with the questions and all. So let's, let's see what you got to <laughs> offer. All right, I mean, let's see. I got, I just got one, one fun question. I just, I'm curious. I want to know like what it was like. I mean, for, what was this? Was this your first year in the playoffs, Keys? Yeah. Just kind of run us through like what, what the playoff atmosphere is like. like I mean, obviously I went to the Western Conference Finals, but yeah. I mean, just run us through it. Like, I know that had to be a crazy experience, just traveling every other day and whatnot. No, it, it was wild, bro. I mean, when you when you talk about, like, scouting to the fullest, that was crazy. Like, you're you're literally watching the same clip every single day. Yeah. Like, and you're playing the same people every day. So we're going over scout in the morning. We come back, like, right before the game. We're talking about the scout again. We're going over the scout before we go into court. It's like – every single time so you basically know everybody's tendencies that's why they say the playoffs are so hard is because yeah. people are able to adjust and they, they kind of start figuring out who's doing what and you know who can do what well at that time in the season um 
And then I think I was fortunate to play in like two dope uh, arenas, you know, in the playoffs in Utah and Golden State. I think it was just those both both those atmospheres are crazy. You know, I think everybody kind of hears about the fans, but until you're able to really be there and sit and experience it, I don't think you understand. Like it was wild having people sitting here right next to you, just screaming, yelling, all types of stuff and, and getting involved in the game. So it was pretty dope. Chase, Chase wasn't jumping like that the year you were there. <laughs> no, Chase definitely was jumping. I, yeah. I think I had a rocket when I was in there. So I'm going to <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, no, it, I don't think it was anything like that, though. You know, being able to to watch their team win, you can't you can't beat that. Oh, it's mm-hmm. crazy. I know Jared, Jared and Tommy both feeling pretty good about that one. Um, yeah, I know. I, I remember <laughs> when uh the when Key signed uh on the flip side when when Key signed uh his his first deal his training camp deal with Golden State uh this dude called me and he was like he's like can I be your favorite player now and I was like <laughs> bro what are you saying and he's like can I be your favorite player now I was like you're already my favorite player and he was like he's like no bro I'm I'm going to the Warriors and I like lost my shit. Yeah, like so super excited, high. Bro. and that was like the first year chase open i probably went to like there's 41 home games i probably missed oh, wow. like you were five. always five yeah, yeah I, was like, I was maybe like one week you were like yeah i can't come down this week and you yeah i think i missed the charlotte i missed when charlotte came and i missed maybe a couple others but like i was pushing from like sack i'd like get done training at 5 30 end my workout like 10 minutes early get on the freeway, literally drive as fast as I could. It'd take me two hours to get there in rush hour. And I get there yeah, like you're making missions for sure. Yeah. I get there you like pushed it to the playoff game too. Late. Yeah. Oh that yeah. That was wild. Oh, that was yeah, when that we was we were at when we Folsom's, were at signing day. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that was you crazy. pushed it from Folsom all the way to SF? Bro, to game one. The, so the Jeez. signing hella so late. Bright. I was like, there's no way you're making it like <laughs> oh Bryson uh Shout out Sweet Dime, Bryson Shackford. Uh, Bryson had his signing day at Folsom High with Miles and, like, all the other athletes. And the the basketball team it goes alphabetical. So I was like, oh, I'll be good. So the basketball team was supposed to go second, I think. I can't remember who goes first. I'm blanking. But it was, like, boys basketball, second sport, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. It'll be first. I'll get out of there. It started at like four o'clock, bro. Keys, I don't think I told you this. It started at like four. Yeah, that's already risking it, it right yeah. there. Yeah. So, but I was like, I'll be because the game started at like six or six thirty, I think. So I was like, I'll be straight, bro. How come this dude Wall was nowhere to be found in the gym <laughs> when it was their turn to get announced? Because the coaches had to announce, and so it was yeah. like, I don't know where. I think he was doing something for graduation or whatnot. But like, bro, this they went through all the other sports. And this dude didn't show up until the last, like, wrestling win. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I was there for, like, an hour and a half. It, yeah. It was, it was I, like, I was, like, was, Jared, like, you're not going to make it. And he's, like, no, And how long did it watch, take you to get out watch. there? Actually, the funny thing is, bro, I was, I mean, I was zooming, but I I probably got there in less, like, less than two hours. I know it took me less than two hours. I got there before halftime. Yeah. No, no I remember. It. <laughs> yeah, you hit me, like, I'm here. I'm here. I'm like, what? <laughs> bro, I was there. I was at the game, and he was like, I'm on my way. I was like, from full sun, bro, it's going to be tough. And the same thing. He hit me. I was like, he was like, I'm here. I said, Jerry, bro, how? How did you no know? Way. That's wild. He was pushing. No way. It was crazy. Well, number three, you were, he wasn't in the Ultima, though. No, you, yeah, you couldn't have take the it. Silver Surfer. It's silver not Surfer. Not <laughs> silver silver, silver Surfer is not making it there. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, you know what? It's still, hey, it still starts, though. For, for yeah, all that's about really. all it does. <laughs> yeah, it starts. Yeah, it doesn't go very far, but it starts. Um, but anyways, uh, Luke, I know you had a few questions too, so if you wanna, yeah, no, I was gonna ask, was there ever like a defining moment, whether it was like in high school or AAU or in college, that you really you felt like it was kind of a uh, flip of the switch where you're like, I can really make it, like I really am as good as. It, it, I can be to to make it in this game. Was there ever a moment, it, or it could have been with Jared too? Like, was there ever a defining moment like that? Um, man, I don't. That's a tough one. I mean, because I could even say that it 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 really took me all the way up until being in Golden State, where I was like, this is where I feel the most comfortable, and I'm like, this is how I'm gonna succeed. You know. Mm-hmm like kind of figuring out what I needed to do exactly and like how to do it. I think that was probably like the season where I kind of got into that mode where I was like, all right, like it's no longer a question. Like 
what I'm doing, how I'm doing it, like where I'm going to be at. You know, I think that was when I started feeling solidified. Um, but I think like, really, I would tell you, maybe like junior year, senior year, when I started really getting like looks on ESPN and stuff like that was mm-hmm. when I was like, all right, like this is something I can really do. I don't think, but it wasn't like, I don't think there was an ego to it, like, where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm about to be so nice at this. Like, I was still, I think, to a point where I was, like, naive, not understanding, like, what I was getting myself into and, like, where it was going to go. Um, but, yeah, I think that was kind of the point where I realized, like, basketball was what I was going to be doing. And then, mm-hmm. you know, obviously around that time was when me and Jared started working out more, uh, regardless of when he ditched me for a year. We're not going to talk about that. But, <laughs> uh, we already talked about that in the yeah, first episode. Yeah, we, we did talk yeah, about it. it. And for being Missed technical, it, it was it was seven year months. Been great, bro. Seven months, good. bro. Seven months. It was it felt like a year to all of us here, bro. Yeah. It was wild. And I still went to your, all of your high school graduations, so I'm not trying to hear that. Good one. I got pictures to prove. You didn't go to my graduation. graduation. That's because oh. you didn't have one, COVID baby. <laughs> That's right. He tried to pull it. <laughs> I actually crazy. did have one. I did oh, a have. Zoom one on Zoom. Uh, it was just like this. It was right there in the yeah. backyard of like my this. homie's house, and I spoke. <laughs> Tommy Ball, really? or actually, they would say James Ball. James oh, that's Ball. Right. We weren't saying James, James Ball. James hey, Ball. It did say James Ball when your when your uh, your screen popped up on. You know, what, Keith. Uh, next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. My 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 second one, and like you might have, you said one of your funniest moments with Jared was when you first met him. But are what what would you say is like one of your funniest Jared stories? And I know you guys have shared a couple of stories on the golf course too. So oh, if if that's what the if that's where the stories come from, then I appreciate that too. I love a good golf segment. It's tough. This is a family program. Golf, golf, Don't yeah, really forget. That's, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. I'll keep it PG. But like, <laughs> golf brings out a different side of Jared. But I oh. think the the I still instance, got a golf like with the instance where I realized how stubborn Jared was as a person was we're driving back from LA and he knows it. He's he look at him, look at him. He will he yeah, will lie him, yeah. till this day. And he swears that he was like, nah, bro, I was awake the whole time. I was like, bro. <laughs> so we're mind you, I'm I'm talking to this girl at the time, and I'm down here and I'm like, all right, she's in sack. Like, I want to see her. I'm I'm done with my pro day, like all this stuff. Yeah, you gotta we give decided, him the preface, bro. We literally all right, I'll back the, the whole yeah. day. It was a long day. Like we had to drive all the way to Newport Beach to do my pro day, like. In Jerry front of every GM, day. all the GMs bro. were there. Kobe showed up, and I think we had to double back because we forgot something. I think they, for, or, they forgot some stuff because we were right. Yeah, it was like with, the tank tops or whatever. Yeah. Um. So mind you, we go through all that. So we're tired. It's like late in the day though. I'm all lover boy, so I'm like, all right, bro. Like, let's go to sack. <laughs> we hop in the whip, and we're driving to sack. Mind you, we only been in the car maybe like 45, 50 minutes at this point. So I'm like, all right, I'm 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 about to make this trek. He's like, bro, let me know whenever you want me to drive. I was like, all right, bro, I'll let you know. I literally look over, maybe two, three minutes later, he's like this, sleep, <laughs> knocked out. I'm like, I tap him. I'm like, bro, wake up. He's like, bro, I wasn't asleep. I wasn't asleep. I was like, bro, you literally just told me you wanted to drive. Like, what were you going to do if you were driving? Were you going to fall asleep? <laughs> he's like, bro, I wasn't asleep. I was, I was like, bro, I swear to God, we were just talking, and you leaned over and were asleep. <laughs> And he that till this day he'll deny it. He's like, no, nah, bro, I was good. I was, I was all right. I passed out when we got close to sack. I will no, say that for but, sure. So I wait, think anybody that knows Jared, that's how Jared. stubborn he is. I didn't yeah. drive. He's he's beasted. It I the drove whole the whole way. way. We were pushing. I didn't trust, we him. Didn't trust him driving. <laughs> yeah, I we were pushing a Toyota. And could imagine watching Keith drive a Toyota, a white Toyota Corolla. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I might with you knocked out in the front seat. Knocked out in the front seat. We look like we stole something. <laughs> like, was... Sure, we were not supposed to have that car. Um, uh, I think yeah. I think anybody that knows Jared knows that's his personality. Is he's stubborn? But, stubborn uh, as hell. Oh my god. Facts. What's yeah, your? I want to. I want to uh, know what your favorite basketball story is. What's your basketball story? Because because this basketball. one. Cause I know Luke, I know Luke's got some too, and I know Tommy's oh, got some. But. I was thinking about it. I have, I have my favorite one for sure. This, there's just, there's, there's just so many. I don't know, bro. There is so many. That's Keith, the hardest. Uh, Keith has to have ten. I'm times like, bro, because there, there's, there's sure. times where I really hated you, where I was like, bro, <laughs> I, like I never want to talk to Jared again. Like, I, bro, I'm like, all right, like I, I, I think I need to find a new trainer. Like this, ain't it. and then I'm like, you know what? Nah, he knows what he's talking about, and then he remembers when we, we. 
were like going through a phase where I just wouldn't talk, bro. I was getting an attitude all the time. We'll go oh, to the gym. I'm that was off. pre-draft, pre-draft. <laughs> yeah, for, for Those sure. Are long I was, days, man. Those I are was long emotional. Days. Yeah, well, that was like, I knew going into it, though. I told myself, I was like, this dude, like, we're so close to this guy getting, like, we would have never thought that he was going to be like one and done and all this other stuff. And like, and then when the board, like when the first draft boards came out, like you weren't even in the, in the first round, they had you like yeah. in the thirties and forties. And then I'll never forget this. This is back when Chad Ford was still running all the ESPN rankings mm-hmm. for the, for the draft shit. And the craziest came, thing I've ever seen. He, bro. He came and watched this work out. And it was like a random day. Your agent, Rob Palinka, who's like GM of the Lakers now, he was like, hey, I'm going to have Chad Ford come watch a workout. So make it look good. And I was like, all right, well, we, I never. <laughs> so when I told, like, when Keith first started training me, like, obviously we talked about before, like, Keith has dumb bounce. So it's like, I used to get mad at this dude for dunking in, in the drills when he was in high school. Cause I'd be like, <laughs> all the time. You, you're not going to be able to dunk like every time. You're going to have to shoot floaters. You have to shoot <laughs> wide finishes. You have to do this. So this, this dude, Keith used to be a jerk. And he would jump so high that, like, he would put the ball, his fingers <laughs> in the rim. Like, he would jump and then put his hand in the rim like that and lay the ball in. He's like, I didn't dunk it. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so, anyways, we're, we do this work. <laughs> You're a dick. That's our dynamic right there. That explains yeah. it. <laughs> we, 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 uh, we, do the, we do the workout. And, like, so I'm like, all right, we're going to, like, we didn't go for very long, but – I was like, we're just going to do some, like, some pick and roll, throw some lobs. And, bro, I, we have the pictures still. I have the pictures. This dude caught – I threw, a, like, a really bad pass on purpose. And this dude, Keys, like, caught it and, like, 360'd it. And you can see in the short – like, we freeze it. Like, his eyes are looking at the rim. And it was, like, the craziest thing. He like, swears he threw the pass bad on purpose. But. Oh. That's right. Yeah, he, he, had that. he had to include that. <laughs> he wanted to show he had it. He was like, I got this. Yeah. He said, Chad Ford, uh, watch yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sign me up. Yeah, this isn't just Keese's workout. You yeah. see these passes? But, but then, like, the next day, like, he really killed the workout. Like, he shot the ball really well and, like, did a bunch of stuff that nobody ever seen him do because he didn't get to do it at UW or in high school and like that. And, like, the next day, this dude was, like, up in the top ten. Yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, that like so that whole time we were when that started happening, I was like, yo, this guy might hate me for the rest of my life, but I'm gonna make sure this guy gets to the like top ten pick. I was like, there's no way, like he's gonna hate me, but I'm gonna push him so yeah, hard. We thought it just, like happened. Especially we were living together too. Like we literally spent every minute of every day together. Yeah, that was the problem. I was stuck with him. I'm like, I hate him in the workout. Time, now man. I have to come sit next to him on the couch. <laughs> that was the FIFA. That was the FIFA days, huh? He doesn't want to see me at FIFA. It yeah, was the no. UFC days. I'm terrible. That was yeah. UFC was in its prime. Yeah, the UFC too. Um, but yeah, no, those are crazy times. Um, so Keith, you got a couple more questions. I I had some questions for you. I, uh, yeah. What's been the most difficult part of being in the NBA or, or dealing with now that, like, I mean, you're really a vet now. It's kind of crazy yeah. to say that, like, you just turned 25 and, like, you're about to start your seventh year in the league. And, like, you've kind of – I would say at this point, like, you've seen pretty much it all. Yeah. And I, I just yeah, – least. I would just – I was curious – I'm always curious, like, now that you've been through so much, like, what do you feel like is the toughest part of being in the league or what you've dealt with? What's the toughest part of dealing with? Um, I mean, I think you've experienced it with me, but like, I think seeing how quickly it can change, you know, like things could be going amazing and you think everything's good. And then the next day you get traded and you're like, got to shift your whole life and move to a different city and go do this and that. And then, you know, how things go and you got, I got waived, you know, so I've been in that situation as well where, I'm kind of just in limbo, not really knowing what was going on. Um, so I think the business side of it, like the basketball is like, it's everything you you want it to be. You know, I think you you get to go out there and you get to lose yourself and, and enjoy playing. But, um, you know, when the numbers come into it, I think that's when it starts to get tough. Uh, and by numbers, you mean like the money or you mean just like the number of players? Um, I mean, both. I think it kind of ties into itself is like, them trying to make the number of people they want to have on the team work with the amount of money they're willing to spend, you know? Um, 
Like you can you can have teams like Golden State that that want to spend as much as they want to or as much as they need to. Um, and then other teams, they want to keep it at a minimum and, you know, try to work around the system and, and do what they can with what they have. Um, so, you know, I think that's the hardest part is just kind of the commodity aspect of it, you know, being able to be moved and, and you know, your your whole life can change with the phone call. So I think that's probably the most difficult part about it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it is basketball. And I think when you take everything away from it, it, it still is what it is. For sure. And I think like, you know, just so people and I don't want to give too much information, but like, like, Keys, you've been traded three times now, right? Three Phoenix, yeah. Phoenix to Houston, Houston to Cleveland. And then, and then now Golden Dallas State to Houston. San Antonio. So four. Oh, so four times. So out of the, you don't have to tell me which ones, but just so people understand, because mm-hmm. I was with you with almost all those out of all those four times, how many times did you find out from the actual team first? That's a good question. That is a great question. Um, man. So does my, my agent my count? Guess, does my, does my, my agent guess count? was one. My guess was one. So do if I hear it from my agent first, that counts not as a team? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Technically. So never. I've never, I've never found out first. I'll... Two times, two times I found out from my agent, Aaron Goodwin, but it was literally like it was my agent. And then two minutes later, the GM called me. Um, And then when I was in Golden State, the GM came down and. uh, But then you were there when I was in Phoenix. That was trying to find out, find out on Twitter. Like, yeah, somebody, some kid 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 did you what we were working out, bro. Like. I'm thinking, I'm thinking somebody posted something of me is going crazy. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And then I look on my DMs. He was like, uh, he was like, congrats, bro. Go crazy in Houston. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> we were literally I, in the I, practice facility working out. It's crazy. I was downstairs, like at the arena. And yeah. I'm like, whoa. And then uh, I, I might have seen you the next day. I don't think I seen you when I got traded from Houston, actually, because that was during the game, like right before no, the game. I was there. I was with you. That was in Sacramento. Yeah, but I went home. I, I know, but then remember I came I came and met you at the house though. Oh, see, it's such a blur. But like yeah. I got traded before were, the guy found out explain, on TV. Hey, <laughs> but, hey, explain the the Houston, the Houston, because every time you come to Sacramento, bro, something bad. Oh, it's happens. bad. <laughs> it's every single time. So and explain the know, Houston. It's, it's the Houston everything stuff. related to Sacramento yeah. for me with basketball <laughs> been a transaction. But so I'm getting ready for the uh for the game, I'm laying on the table, and I don't know if you guys know what the locker room looks like, but it's like a table, and there's a TV that, like, sits over your head when you're in the training room. So I'm, like, looking up at it, and Sports Center's on, so then it pops up. It's like uh, uh, Cleveland, Sacramento, and Houston finalizing a trade centered around Amon Shumpert. So me and B Knight look at each other. We're like, wait, hold on, bro. Like, are we going to get traded right now? Because we're kind of assuming, you know, it's about that, about that time where, you know, people start getting traded, and that was kind of the the vibe we were getting. Um, so I'm like, ain't no way we're finna get traded. I go out to do my court time, literally shoot one floater. I'm like, getting ready, shoot it. Somebody comes, they're like, Keith, yo, and I'm like, what's up? He gave me a hug. I was like, damn, they traded me. He's like, yeah. And I, just, I went in the locker room, talked to the coach. I'm not trying to stuff. laugh. This is nah, like... it's crazy, bro. It's like, cause it's like, like, come on, bro. <laughs> like, like the game was in like an hour. <laughs> you know. Bro, the game, yeah, exactly. The game was going to happen in an hour. I'm like, I'm trying to break a sweat, get ready and all this stuff to find that out. So then I ended up uh, saying bye to everybody, blah, blah, blah. And I I go to the hotel because the Sawyer is connected. Get my bags. I Uber home. Mind you, I'm just kind of in this, like, haze. I don't call my mom. Like, I'm not even thinking about it. So I'm driving. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm literally passing them, like, on the freeway. <laughs> and no I'm going way. home. And I <laughs> call my mom. I call my mom like right before I get to the house. I'm like, "Mom, are you home?" And she was like, "No, we just got to the arena." I'm like, yes. "Oh my goodness, bro!" I was at and... the arena. We were all at the arena. <laughs> <laughs> like, mind you, the arena is like 40 minutes. Yeah, from my house. You're, you live deep from down. Yeah, down. like in the boonies, out in the middle of nowhere. So I'm basically by myself. So I don't know what to do. I just walk to the store. I'm like, all right, whatever. I walk like a mile and a half to the store. While the, while game, the game is going. The game is going on. Like, they're all leaving the game. I'm walking to the store, walk back home. And then the next day I had to fly back home with the team, which yeah. was also a really weird situation. But, yeah. 
Yeah, that, that yeah. man, wild, wild stuff. Um, but the other thing to you know lighten it up a little bit is uh, what in your opinion, what was your best post? You've been your best poster Ooh. in the league. Okay, I was gonna say I've dunked on you a couple times that I like. <laughs> oh, we all not, have. We're, we all have. I, I no. Okay, I don't say all. I I did a three sixty on Jared Alvert. <laughs> Jared, bro, bro. Hey, hey, Joe, Joe, hey, Joe, hey Joe, I, no, you jump, you hop like. This. <laughs> he had the pad. <laughs> yeah, no. You know how he that, has his little like. He's like whatever. Bro, he no. really want to try. Okay, but no, try, no. The first, one, the worst one was when you literally were being a jerk and you tried to windmill on me, and I hit the ball and it didn't stop. Oh yeah, no, I that. <laughs> the I ball. I hit the one. ball as yeah, it started to windmill. Skim- he skimmed it and I pushed it through and dunked it. He was sick. <laughs> but I would say uh, I had one on Jared Allen that was tough. Yeah, uh, that's the one I would think of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and then yeah. I had one. I had one on. Uh, I forgot Nicolo Melli, I think was his first name. When you were in Golden State, yeah. Yeah. The big I punched on his head. Time. That yeah. was yeah. That was one of those two. Um the one on know. Quincy AC. Do you remember the one on Quincy AC when the he was lob. in Brooklyn? When he was in yeah, Brooklyn. Lob. Yeah. Yeah, that was tough. I that was I was about to say that. I think I have lobs that I'm like, oh. I had some in college too. That's because you'd be trying to rip the rim off, bro. Like relax. Yeah. Yeah, that was I, but I, it's like it's really one of my goals, bro. Is I want to break like just, <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't even gotta like come all the way down i just want to dunk it so hard that the rim is at least stuck or like something to where they're like blowing the whistle and have to stop i just want that just one time and that's my goal I'm like, i hope right, they I'm fine good. you for that yeah no they way. definitely will no oh, way bro. they'll get enough endorsements off of it yeah how much hey, how much yeah, does it it'll co- be hey, worth it how much does it cost when you throw your jersey in the stands now Ooh, i don't know i that's a fine now yeah, no, crazy. no, it's funny. not a fine. Oh. No, you just have to pay for the jersey. Oh. And that that's 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 if they're being stingy. Sometimes they don't really care. But like you can you can possibly like it could actually be bad because you can be on the road and say your team only brought one set of jerseys because you guys were gonna wear that <laughs> oh. color. So it's like now they only have the one backup jersey. So if that jersey gets blood on it or rips, they're like it's it's gonna be a whole shit show. So it's like, <laughs> they, they, <laughs> So they try not to like you kind of ask ahead of time. You'd be like, hey, like, can I give this to somebody or can we swap jerseys like after the game? Um, just to avoid that. But like I think it's only it's probably like five hundred dollars. Yeah. Which you speaking know, it's not too of, bad, but it's not uh, worth it. Speaking of Keith being a real vet, I told one of my teammates, he's from Seattle, I said uh that we were gonna get Keith on here, and he goes, Bro. Like, no way. He's like, I'm not shout out to Jordan, by the way. He's like, you got to see this picture. And he sends me this picture right before this. It's a young, a young Keese and my teammate Jordan. He's in like, that's crazy. No way. Was that, was that, was that, that was at the UW camp? Yeah. He's like, bro, I have a picture. Send that he's to like, me. That's I will. He's like, I have a yeah. picture with him. I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I'll show, I'm like, I'll show him later. No, nah, that's, that's crazy. I never seen that picture. You're yeah. really an old, you're really an old head now. Bro, I know. But it's wild because I feel like I look the exact same. I just have a beard now. Yeah. <laughs> well, the you beard's a, not as patchy, though. Twist. The beard used to be We're patchy. For a while. Yeah. Two, but yes, I had the locks. I like those. But the beard definitely is not patchy anymore. <laughs> it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. I'm not on Luke's level, but it's getting there. Yeah, but Luke's, Luke's used to not be able to grow a beard. Luke's came out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah man. Just Tommy... grows a beard overnight. Yeah, no. and Tommy, Tommy still has a little chin strap. That's bro, look it. at Tommy got the chin joint. Oh. I like it, Tom. I really <laughs> I'm in do. Panama. Uh, that was, I feel like that question right there, Jared, was a, a good segue into our starting five here. Uh, before we get into it and what the category is, I want to kind of go over uh, how last week's uh, went with the voting and everything. So Tommy gets his first win of the year. First first, first overall win, you know, on the starting five. Uh I will say though, I won the walk on pick. People were rocking with Buddy Heald at the walk on pick. I, oh, I can pull up the numbers right now. It's good pick, Dude, but it's straight. Good pick. If you played in the Kings, then Luke's gonna vote for you. So okay, bro. Either <laughs> way. So so for for starting five, um, Tommy had eighteen. I had seven. Jared had four. Uh, I don't know. Jared had a lot of trash talk. Dominant. Came in last. Yeah, dominant. It's crazy. That and sounds about right for Jared though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All the talk, no production. Okay, Jay. It's all right. You got another chance to redeem yourself. Yeah. And then walk on pick. I had 14. Tommy had 10. Jared had five. So, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Close. One one starting five win for Tom, one walk on win for me. Yeah, Not bad. it's all good. Keith would week. appreciate my walk on pick. I picked Dorian Finney Smith shooter. That, yeah, that's a good one. I, sure. I, I wasn't mad at that one at all. You did, yeah. That's a really good one. People just don't, you know. They don't know. Yeah, yeah it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, but right. you know, this week we're going into dunkers in the league right now. You know, we've been we've been talking about Keith and his dunks for a little bit. So starting five dunkers in the league right now, and then we'll do our walk on pick. Uh I kinda I wanna kinda I wanna go Jared first, you know. The big <laughs> redemption week for him, so I wanna hear his first. Talk to him, Jared. Uh all right. My my pick, you know, I went real young, real solid here. So um all right, so at the point guard, uh, I got Ja. Best, best point guard dunker in the league, right. easily. Right. It's kind of hard to pick against. Right. Um, at the shooting guard, I got Anthony Edwards. Okay. Another solid pick. Okay. Um, at the three, at the small forward, I have Derek Jones Jr. Yeah, see. Uh, airplane yeah. mode. Uh, at the four, I have Zion, even though he's got to get healthy. And then – this is – I told Luke I wasn't going to do this, but I'm doing it anyways. Homer pick. Uh, at the center, I got Marquise Chris. There you go. Good answer. Uh, <laughs> there we go. I knew someone was going Jared to. has to. Jared has yeah. to. Has to. Choice. He has to. Has right. to. I can't be mad at it. But, you yeah. know. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it wasn't like uh, – there. you know, it was, I didn't sprinkle any craziness in there. But, yeah. You know. I don't think many people are going to debate that. Yeah. So I, I can't be can't be too mad at it. Uh, Tommy, you want to go or you want me to fire mine off? Go ahead, Luke. Go ahead. All right. Okay. So at the one, we're gonna start off real strong. De'Aaron Fox at the one. Um, oh my god. Yo, you're hate, bro. Don't do that. Don't. Why do are you that. gonna are you gonna pick a Kings player for everything? We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to <laughs> wait. When, and see. when are you? When are we throwing in the the walk on pick after? Yeah, that's yeah. at the end. All right, for sure. So so Fox at the one. <laughs> Uh, you can hate all you want. There, that's bounce right there. That's that's real bounce. Uh, at the two, this is this is kind of my one that like, you know, I didn't want to go the mainstream route, but I felt like I had to. Zach Levine at the two, uh, I feel solid. Like, I mean, that's that's the one. Yeah, I I, I just didn't want to. I didn't want to shake too many feathers. So Zach Levine at the two, at the three. Jared, we had a similar pick here. I went Aunt Edwards at the three. I mean, again, just that's. I don't know. I didn't think it was going to be too popular. But I don't. Yeah, I don't know if you know how to define the p- positions yet, but. bro. It's just wings, bro. Don't don't worry about it. At the four, yeah, we got yeah, Obi Toppin. That's that's that's, that's going to be a nice pick. That's 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 stole nice mine. Pick. That was mine. He there we go. Mine. There we go. That's mine. a nice pick. So that I had Zion. Mine. I had Zion on the board at first, but I just didn't want to. You know, like I said, I want to. I want to be a little <laughs> different. So Obi Toppin at the four, and at the five, I went with John Collins again. One that, you know, I don't think is as mainstream, but that's. That's a good five right there. I would That's say solid. it's less controversial than last week, but definitely less. Once yeah. again, not a center, but it's Fox okay. at the one. Okay, bro. Are we doing so? We're doing position or wings? Like, no, I'm just giving. I'm giving. I'm, I'm giving like you're a crap. hater. <laughs> he's a hater. He's 100. Because I'm hater. like he's he's messing up my list. I'm over here like I got a couple of shooting guards. I'm like all right. Yeah, no, you all can right. do however you want. I'll rock out and then we'll let Keith finish it off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Jared and I, Jared and I were on the same wavelength this week. My backcourt is the exact same. I got John Morant at the one and Ant Edwards at the two. Just too many posters this year for me to not put Ant Edwards in there. But too much explosiveness. Yeah, he's crazy. He's absolutely crazy. But the three, this is where I kind of mix it up. I wanted, I think I went a little controversial. I I'm going with I'm going with Golden State. Give me wigs. After Ooh. after what he was doing in the playoffs, Brandon. Another Homer pick. Clark, Homer punching on Luca. No, I like Homer that. pick. Luca doesn't Homer. get more than four inches off the ground. It doesn't matter. That was crazy. Oh. He I mean, saw it. Was, it was crazy. Luca didn't cut some bodies though. He didn't cut some That's bodies. Can say that? Hey, he didn't okay, cut some Okay, but come, but Wiggs, but Wiggs, is, Wiggs punch on Brandon Clark. Come on. Yeah, no, he's been dunking. Uh, that one was the best one. That was yeah. better than Luca one to me. Yeah, yeah. and then at the four, I got Yay Arias finest Aaron Gordon. Yeah, and then I knew someone had the, to. I knew someone at the five. Oh, I flipped. God around a lot y'all are gonna be shocked by this one i went small ball five give me larry nance mm. <laughs> oh, mm. he threw that one in there that's a good one. Oh man yeah i like you tom that's much better than tom, last week tom. tom can you tell me what team larry nance plays on right now new Ooh. orleans pelicans okay that a boy oh, 
Yeah, doing his homework too. He was I could have gone Jackson Hayes. I was really thinking about Jackson. I, I almost did. I almost I thought did about. Well. I thought about Keys, Rob Williams. I was throwing them all out. See, but the thing good. is, is like I guess I look at it like you got to have some variance in your dunks. You can't just catch lobs. Yeah, mm, right. I was putting Robert Williams was on my list. All right, let's hear yours. Keith. Yeah, Keith's I want to hear this one. So for the point guard, I'm going Anthony Simons. Mm, he has okay. dumb bounce. So I mean. Like, bounce that's out of this world. Then you got to go Anthony Edwards. Then Jalen Brown. Mm. I feel like that's oh, that's, a, that's a mainstream one, but that he, he's he got some good dunks. He got some nice yeah. bodies, though. Yeah, he, he got some like, really good dunks. Yeah. I like that and one. Then I'm going to go OB Toppin. Mm. Love it. And then the, Jericho Sims. Oh, I don't man. Know if you guys I know. know who that is. Bro, yeah. yes. I, I don't know who, guys know who that is. Peace, he bro. has some of the craziest bro. bounce oh, I think Keith. I ever seen. Peace. You just hey. took my walk on pick, dog. Yeah, he took mine, I'm too. So I'm not going to lie to you. It's okay. Well, say, you guys yeah. kept saying all of my sinners, so I had to pick a good one. Uh, that's right. that's right. Right. Hold on. Have you seen, have you seen, like, you seen him talk before? Nah. Oh, I watched that. They did, like, a Clutch Academy, like, a little documentary about the Clutch uh, agency and, like, He's just like he he's funny. Mm-hmm. He's funny. I but never yeah, heard he him talk. Bit. He's got crazy bounce. Wow, yeah, bro. Well, and to be like 6'11, 6'10 doing that. Yeah. yeah. My walk on pick is now anticlimactic. We can get it off. I had to <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch I thought, on the show. That was just, I, I had to steal the show. So yeah, way to go, level. Keith. Way to, That's way good to though. That. That's there good though. Go. That's good though. That's basketball IQ right there. Exactly. Okay. So okay, Tommy's got Jericho Sims for a walk on. What what you got, Luke? Okay, so I had Anthony Simons. I'm not gonna lie, but I kind of want to change it now. I kind of want to change it now. I'm locked in. I'm locked in. <laughs> I mean, he's I, just I really, really locked in because that was I really liked it, but I don't know. I I, I think I want to stay. I had, I had, I had a, a backup. couple other good ones too. I got a couple other good ones. No one. My backup, that. <laughs> my backup was Pat Connaughton. So I mean, we could roll with that. <laughs> 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 Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Why are we laughing? Why are he we got laughing? belts. He got belts. He does have belts. <laughs> he got belts. <laughs> bro, like, I, yeah, he does have belts. That's, bell. hey, <laughs> that's because, hey, Luke has that as his backup pick because deep down, he wants to get a shout out for all the sneaky athletic white guys because that's bro. Luke. <laughs> Luke can like, count. Yeah, can Luke can't that. count can't count on how many times he's been called sneaky athletic after someone watches him throw down a windmill. Bro, I got called sneaky athletic today in a workout. Literally today. Honestly, gotta be sneaky, though. That's the janky part. Bro. Because it's racist. Exactly why. You know exactly why it's sneaky. Yeah, so you know what? No. Anthony Simon's great pick, so I'm gonna let you have it. I'm rolling Pat Connaughton. I'm yeah. rolling with it. I, gotta I don't, it. yeah, I'm also gonna change it, because I don't want to have my walk-on pick and keys to starting five. I'm gonna go Jackson Hayes. Jackson Hayes. Mm. All right, pick. all right. Jared, let's hear it. <laughs> mine is mine is the most sneaky of sneaky. I know who he's gonna say. I got Kawhi Leonard. Never mind. Oh wow! I almost put him in my starting five. Mm. He got so, ah, he's ah, corny though. Yeah, he dunked like he's in the seventies or something. Yeah, like that. exactly. <laughs> but he'd be dunking on people, and he don't do That's anything crazy. crazy. He'd he really be up. catching people off of the left foot, one hand. Statue of Liberty. Like, yes. But I thought it's it was like it. best dunkers. Like they gotta really be getting in their bag. Yeah, that was my that, that was my that was my walk on pick. He not he doesn't get the love. All right. That's fair. I, I have two walk ons. So right. my my main walk on, I'm gonna say is Gary Payton the second. Mm, that's yes. a great one. Great pick. I think um, I think that's one um, A and then one B, I'm gonna say is Jalen Suggs. Really? Jalen really? Suggs. Yeah, he has bounce. I wouldn't. I didn't wouldn't expect that one. I was gonna ask. I was expecting bounce. like. I was expecting like Greg Brown. Ooh, that's a that's Again, a sneaky I almost one put too. that one in my start. That is a very. Do sneaky you think, one. Keys? Before before the, uh, I want to know you since we're talking about you, Jalen Suggs. It brought up something I thought about uh, when I was thinking about my walk on pick before the ACL injury. Would you put Markel in those conversations? Yes. Yes. Markel had crazy, Cra- one balance. foot, two foot. It didn't matter, bro. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah, the wild. shit he the shit he did at UW. He was ridiculous at yeah. UW. <laughs> yeah. He's different. He's still yeah. nice. That's the crazy yeah. thing. No, for like, sure. I don't understand how you go through an ACL and a shoulder injury and you're still hooping. I'm like, more power to you. Yeah. No. No, I think those were all solid picks, though. I'm glad yeah. that we were on the same page. 
Um, I yeah, think so I'm was, winning. I think I'm winning for I sure. I love the confidence. I love the yeah. confidence. I can't be like Jared, though. I yeah. got to bring bring the production. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> We're going to see. No, we need I, – I, I would love to see a bounce back week out of Jared for sure. Like – he was talking big game last week. I, I I wouldn't. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. I'm a hater. First of all, my shooting pick <laughs> was the most balanced of all picks. Hey, your votes were the least balanced. So <laughs> like I really said, <laughs> the internet Don't is not relaxed. Bro. Yeah, it's not relaxed. defeated. No, it's fine, bro. It's uh, fine. But no, I'm uh, I don't know. You were about to say something, Jared. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, the kind of we got through all that stuff, and now that we we have a little bit extra time. Um. And obviously, we we appreciate Keese uh, taking the time here. I wanted to kind of get Keese's perspective on, like, um, now that, like, you know, make it to NBA, all that stuff, like Sacramento basketball, all that. But, like, w- if you had some advice for, for people that, like, were trying to decide, like, because, like, we didn't – people don't really know, but, like, you didn't really start playing basketball until, like, your freshman year, like – like consistently until like freshman year high school and obviously like yeah you had uh, all the physical gifts but like there's a lot of 610 dudes that don't play in the nba yeah. so it's like if you had some advice for like people trying to like you know maybe make a decision or just trying to like i don't know find a way to like you know what would your advice be to people trying to make that same jump as jumping as, into playing basketball like no like a jump into like like your the advice of what what like helped yeah what helped you you think the most because like now like so many kids it's like the whole mentality and youth basketball is like I'm gonna start playing AU in second grade I'm gonna play a yeah. million I'm gonna play a million games um, I'm gonna play on a million teams I'm gonna try to play on an EYBL team because I think that's where it's gonna get me the most improvement and then yeah. I'm gonna get ranked and then I'm gonna get you know I'm gonna get a bunch of offers and and then I'm gonna go to the NBA yeah. but like that necessarily isn't the best route for everyone, or at least the route that makes the most sense. So I was like curious of like, if you had some perspective or advice for people like trying to decide, like, you know, how, how, if I really want to play in the NBA, like what's, what's the best route for, for me? Um, I mean, I think you can probably understand this when I say this, like you have to be honest with yourself, you know, you kind of have to understand where you're flawed and where you need to grow and, as far as like who you are as a player, you know, I think we all kind of, we get that there's roles at every level, you know, and I think understanding that you can be a star in your role, you know, you don't have to be the star of the team and the person that's getting all the accolades in order to, you know, make it to the NBA or make it overseas or at any high level or wherever you want to be. I think that's the biggest advice I'll probably say is just be a star in your role. Um, And then also I think touching back on like what I said earlier, And how you talk about AAU, I think it's just do it because you love it. You know, I think when you lose that sight of it being just basketball, I think that's when you kind of start to to not have that same passion and the same love. And Jerry, you know, because my brother, like, I don't push it on him at all. Like, I'm like, bro, if you want to play, you play basketball, whatever you want to do, like, do it. But if you're going to do it, then commit to it and dive all in and actually make it something that you want to do. Don't do it because you see me playing basketball and you think, you know, you have to be the the next me. I'm like, I want you to be the first you, you know, and, you know, there's really no other way around doing that other than doing something that you really love. Um, so I think those are the two biggest things. I think just, just even if it's not basketball, regardless of whether you're, you know, working in a tech company or you're at a financial, you know, company or anything, you know, be a star in your role and, you know, people put, pay pretty well for that. So I, <laughs> You know, they they just want people that want to to be a part of something and and help build something that everybody succeeds and not just one individual person. Well said. Well said. Very well said. Yeah. That's really well. I got one last question, actually. I think we'll finish off here. So okay, yeah. boom, we're talking 17 holes into a round, you and Jared tied <laughs> going into this 18th <laughs> hole. Who's winning? Who's winning? Me, Who's winning? without a doubt. Without a doubt. He knows it. It's me. Right now, I'm saying, but we – I'll give him right now. He might win because I can't play. Oh, that's overall, crazy. Overall, I'm winning. Yeah. Is it a, I'm, the, I will the, put no pref, on it. Pref, preface? Is it a par five, par four, par three? <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
If bro, we're tied, I'm taking it easy. I mean, Jared had fifty green. nightly chips in, so fifty chips a night. Fifty get chips you get right. you right. <laughs> he's, a, he's a new father, man. He's got to focus on that. He can't focus on golf right now. No, that all I'm saying is that if it's a par five, Keese is slicing that driver right. No way. Oh, My driver's man. been locked. I'm going. In. I'm going. I'm going hybrid two fifteen two twenty down the pipe. Ask him why he's in the Are hybrid. You? Ask him yes. why he's in the hybrid because he slices his driver to the <laughs> right. I, 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 I'm glad you said it because I was going to say it. I'm glad you said it. Hey, that's Ask the difference him. between you and me, young fella. Some of us okay. don't have an ego. Self awareness. Yeah. Self awareness. Exactly. Know your role. In... You were just talking about knowing your role, bro. Know your role. <laughs> who's who's it's winning a... in a scramble? You and Keith or versus me and Tommy? Uh, oh my God, we're smacking y'all. No, Never see, has. okay, see, I want has. this now. I want this. I need it. Hey, I actually, I, I can't I, even I can, drive. I can I'll smack let a good drive every now and then. Every now and then, you don't even have the confidence. Tommy's not even getting now. Now. It's all for, bro. Tommy, Tommy, I just need you to play. That's all I need. I'll get us to the green and two. Don't hey. worry about it. I'll get us there. I need you to I'm play. A, I'm a Tommy will three putt right now. I'm a no. I'm a mini golf. It also it right depends now. on the course too. Because if we play like a links course, Tommy might be able to find his ball on the other. You know, doing yeah. whatever. If he plays don't wild hawk, don't listen. We can to let him Tommy. play wild. I'm putting us high level green reader. reader. I'm a high level green reader. I'm gonna yeah. It. It, and also, if anything, Tommy's just gonna have me on in the, the right Wii mind space. And I'm <laughs> yeah, Wii Sports. <laughs> Wii Sports. All right. <laughs> they're hating. They're hating Tom. Yeah. No, we might have to set this up. We now. can set this up. We can set this up when I'm back. We can set this up when I'm back. For sure. The difference is that Tommy, there's no. You're not gonna be golfing like for forever because you're in Pocatello and there's no golf course. You know what? There's a golf course. So we're trying to even. This hotel in Panama. I might go play 18 tomorrow just just to tell y'all that I did, bro. Tom, I love it. We got you can hear the lies coming from his voice. <laughs> he's he's gonna be on the beach tomorrow. I'm sending you a picture on the golf course. Drinking Tom. his margarita. He's gonna I'm be sending you a picture. Ooh, on he can't the golf even course, drink. Mm-hmm. In Cabo or where are you at? Panama. He's on a team. He definitely he's can drink. It's against, against his religion. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't drink then. <laughs> High on life, man. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. We'll definitely have to set that up, but no, this is a it was a great talk, Keith. I appreciate appreciate you being on with us. Uh, Thank you, Keith. Yeah. No, I appreciate you guys having me. It was huge, man. Keys, man.